Miguel's taking a big chance here, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. What if Fox is really sick? No. If my son says Fox is lying, then he is. He belongs with Kay and their daughter. He's fighting for his life. Because he just wants to take you away from me. Wait. My son is not a liar. He's not lying about this. Thank you, Mama. You know what? We've been going round and round about this for hours now. Why don't we just get this over with now, huh? Dr. Russell, why don't you just tell Kay the truth? You're Fox's doctor. You know he's not sick. Why don't you just tell her? Uh, Miguel, you know I can't betray a patient's confidential information. Okay, but you can if the patient agrees to it, right? So, Fox, why don't you give Dr. Russell permission to tell Kay the truth? Bravo, mijo. I'm glad that you forced Fox to do this. I know exactly what he's going to say. Fox is dead in the water. Okay, just tell me, is, is Miguel right? I mean, is Fox lying about having some fatal illness? Please, Dr. Russell, just... Tell me, I mean, I would like to have my wedding sometime this year. All right. If Fox has agreed to it. He agreed. Come on, let's just get on with it. All right. Kay, as far as I know, Fox hasn't had any negative test results. He's in perfect health. Hmm. He's not dying? No. Thank you. Dr. Russell, I told you, Kay, Fox has been lying through his teeth. I did it, Mama. Kay finally knows the man Fox is. That's... I just hate to see her so hurt. Me too. I'm sorry that she had to be hurt, too. She'll get over it, mijo. And the miracle that I've been praying for finally came true. You and Kay and my, my beautiful granddaughter will finally be a family. I wish it hadn't been so painful.